Traditionally, in an ADC and support lane, uh, something that's of concern at times is who's last hitting the enemies, right? And why, right? If you're if you're a Sentinel's gift wearer, don't la don't last hit the enemy. If you just don't do that, you get a hundred percent more gold gained, right? If you don't last hit the enemy, you get eight gold plus eight from your Sentinel's gift. Okay. If you do last hit the enemy and you have Sentinel's gift, you get nine gold. So don't do it, right? But like, like if you really, if as a support you really want gold, don't last hit the enemies. I cannot stress that enough. If you have Sentinel's gift, don't last hit the enemies. If you're Maui, do not hit through the enemies. Just stop attacking altogether, and you'll get more gold, a hundred percent more. In fact, you'll be you'll be so rich if you just stop attacking. Okay, that but this item changes that. This item changes that in a very crucial way. Um, dev notes first. <clears throat> Our final new item is another support oriented one. This early game item provides a way to gain more early advantage in lane and gold for your teammates. Building this early would likely delay the stacking of the traditional support items. So it will be important to leverage that early advantage with this item or consider other non stacking options. Okay. What the devs are saying is build this when you're in lane. And if you're not, if you're out of lane phase, don't build this. This item is specifically for you and your lane partner, be it the carry or the mid. Whoever you're in lane with. You, by attacking an enemy, can give them a significant chunk of gold. Let's read. All right, you get 30 and 30, 30 fizz, 30 magical protections, right? A net game is a net game of 60, not the craziest item, right? Not the craziest item at all. 300 health, that's a decent amount of health. That's a, that's a good amount of health for an item. 25 HP 5, that's a good amount of sustain. The passive. Your next successful basic attack on an enemy lane minion causes it to explode, instantly killing it. This is an execute on a full health lane minion. Okay. This item will let you one shot a lane minion. And when you do, it deals 50 plus five magical damage to enemies in a really small area around it. And, and this is the kicker. It provides 25 bonus gold to your nearest ally. It can only happen once every 20 seconds. What does this mean? Once every 20 seconds, if a support purchases this item first, it is to their benefit every time they can to explode one of the highest health minions in the lane and give your carry or mid laner 25 free gold. That is not insignificant. That doubles the value of the minion you just killed. Normally a minion in a wave will give you 12, 13 gold. You kill it, you get gold, and then your teammate gets plus 25. This item is sick. It's going to help supports with a little bit of wave clear. One sixth of the wave clear. But it's going to provide them an immediate execute and an immediate benefit to their carry or their mid. That is to say that once you're out of the lane phase, this doesn't really benefit that much. 25 gold every 20 seconds. That's at most 75 gold every minute if you're using it on cooldown. So not to scoff at 75 gold a minute. It's certainly something. But it has to be used intelligently. So 
if you if you're trying to play a quick gold game and your carry just needs a little bit of a boost boom this item right here it's fun to play with it's fun to try um numerically the most you're going to be getting 75 gold a minute 75 gold a minute but when you think about think about post game chat right or think about post game stats right think about gold per minute there's a big fucking difference between 425 gold per minute and 500 gold per minute 